good, eh? This is tragic. And this is nothing like. And this should be probably the last turn, or maybe the last turn. It's been a bit of a messy, <laughs> a messy game. I am just learning this, so I've made a, quite a few huge mistakes, but we're just going to soldier on, and with luck, the next game will be a lot uh, smoother. Now, a lot of people have been asking me for this mod. Now, unfortunately, this mod is a modification of a mod that a friend of mine makes, and he makes lots of fantastic mods, but he keeps them all private because he has a very strict policy of not sharing his mods work now so i can't share this mod so don't ask but if i enjoy playing this game which is still up in the air for now we'll see how we feel after the end of the core set i will make my own version of this mod using my own cards scans and everything and uh i will release that but it will not look like this i probably won't have this big white board for example and various other things but here's he, it all have all the, the the scripts that i've done for this mod but anyway the point is this mod will not be released but uh i may if i choose to release a proper arkham horror mod for my own tastes and if anyone else likes it so anyway let's get straight into this uh what's happening here Right, so we just got on to... Right, so I've kind of forgotten where we are. Right, so we have nine health on this dude. Now, there was a bit of a mistake. Apparently, uh, is it this thing? When the round ends, investigators in the hallway may, as a group, spend the requisite number of clues to advance. So this agenda, or whatever it's called, this act has a special rule governing how you spend clues. So normally you can spend clues as a free action on your turn, but this particular agenda says that you spend them as a group at the end of the round. And that is specifically because this huge big monster that came out, he then comes out at the end of the round. So the first time he comes out, he doesn't attack. So basically, just like a couple of things, I've made the game a lot harder than it actually is. Still, uh, we're just going to soldier on. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to kill him this turn, so let's do it. So we are all in the hallway. And what have we got? She's got five health, four health, plus some backup health. Okay, so... We're going to, well, first we have to advance the Doom token and see what monsters we get. I'll just give that a shuffle. Yablam. Distant Voices. Yablam. Okay, Grasping Hands. This is a hazard that drops health. We've got to test agility. Now we have two Manual Dexterity. So I'm going to spend Manual Dexterity and draw a Chaos card. So that is three... Four, five, your blam, minus four. So that's one point, which means we take two wounds. Wow, that is horrendous. Okay. Three, four, five, minus four. Yeah, so not good. What have you got going? Okay, you have a mind test. So her mind is four. Take one horror. She's got two horror. So if we fail this, we're in trouble. Evade. This evasion attempt. Okay, that's a spell. If you succeed, one damage to the enemy. Mind and still. Oh, that's actually really good. Blinding white. Okay, so we're going to stick out this. Fearless. That gives us an extra mind, so we have five mind. Yablam, minus one is four mind, which means we pass the three test. And we also get uh, a heal of one horror, which is cool. Okay. And what have you got for us? Oh, another ancient one thing -o. So just draw out another doom token. Okay, so now we have combat which is oh no no we don't have combat 
uh, monster combats after investigation phase. So yeah, now it's the investigation phase. So this is the plan. We're all in the one area. Uh, what is this? This is takes one damage, takes one horror. So she is going to engage this monster. Then she is going to do an evade test. So she's got three agility. She's going to pump it with manual dexterity. Now this max one committed per skill test, I'm pretty sure that means maximum, maximum one manual dexterity. I can still commit pit pocketing as well. So she's committed pit pocketing and manual dexterity. Uh, He's not going to commit anything. And she is also going to help out by committing. I really want to pass this. She's going to go, oh, well, actually, what, what if we fail? Yeah, no, we don't want to, we just don't want to fail. So as long as we don't draw, so she's going to commit one. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus four. Come on, you blam! Okay, so that's minus two if I correct. If there is a ghoul, take one damage. This is a ghoul, so she takes one damage and that completely ruins our entire plan. Ah, oh, that's really annoying. But we do pass, which means this person now taps. So we did an evade test and we tap it. Now he will not attack, which means that we can just lay the damage on him and everything will be cool. So we've got one more turn. So let me just think about this. She's got four health and three horror. Yeah, so for her next turn, she's just gonna do a combat, I guess. Three combat, bar jack. Oh, here we are. Sneak attack, that's what we wanna do. You blam. So we're gonna play sneak attack. Oh, she gets to draw a card because of that skill we actually used two of them didn't we so we get two cards what have we got here liquid courage oh that's awesome and we have another attack using feet three agility but it doesn't really make a difference whatever the point is we're doing sneak attack with her last action deal two damage to an exhausted enemy so we just take two wounds off him like so Now our next character, because remember you can go in any order, we're gonna go with uh, Zoe. She is also gonna do an engagement that's gonna bring him over. She then spends the resource she gains from this. Now, after enemy becomes engaged with you, exhaust. Yeah, so you definitely have to exhaust that. I haven't been exhausting this thing, but uh, yeah, so I need to fix how this functions. See, that, see, like I said, there's still errors in the way the mod works. But uh, that's exhausted. And that takes off another damage. Boom. And then we're going to move. Uh, actually, you know, I'm not going to do this. So let's put that damage back on. I've changed my mind. We're gonna do a similar kind of thing, but we're gonna do it with this guy. So he's gonna, he's going to, let's just untap these, yep. So she, he's gonna engage. Then he's going to move to here, which brings the monster with him and it's going to cost him, is it a horror? Horror for that location. And that's going to cost him one horror. And then, actually before he moves, so he's going to engage. Then before he moves, he's going to do an attack. So he's going to discard this. That gives him two damage plus one damage if it's successful. And he also gets plus one fist from Lita, who is in the same location. So he is currently at 
one, two, three, four, five, and anyone can discard a fist. Yeah, so she's going to discard a fist. So he's at six damage. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. Beautiful. So that is a minus one for the skull, because it's minus X. There is one ghoul. Uh, you cannot play assets in events, so that's fine. So that is minus one. So we do one damage for the attack. We get one extra damage because we discarded the knife. And we get one extra damage because of Lita. Beautiful. And then for the last turn, we go bam. We move into the attic and take that horror, which I've already done. Did I already take the horror? Yeah. Now we're going to do this chick's turn. She's going to go boom and throw the dynamite. Choose either your location or a connecting location. Deal three damage to each enemy and to each investigator. So she's going to chuck the dynamite into here. That does one, two, three damage. It also does, uh, let's take one off the dog and two damage off Ashcan. Bam. And then for the second, she's gonna move into the attic. That's gonna take one wound, uh, one horror offer, but she's got Zoe's cross and now she's gonna flip over to engage him. Zoe's cross taps, takes off one more wound. Bam, the priest is dead. So what this mod also needs is a victory display pile. I think I'll just use this thing here. I haven't actually been calculating victory, dis <laughs> victory points, whatever. Anyway, so he's dead. That's the end of that. And this says, if the ghoul priest is defeated, advanced. You blam. And this is the last one. When the rogue creature falls, the fiendish swarm burrows back into the ground and the chaos of the house quietens. But the stranger in your parlor doesn't seem relieved. You broke my seal that was set to trap the ghouls within. She raises a torch. Now we must take more direct measures and burn this hell pit to the ground. The lead investigator must decide. Choose one. It's never much of a home. Burn it down. This hell pit is my home. No way are we burning it down. Oh, we're burning it down. Burn down the house immediately. It is a filthy portal into the unknown. So we're going to do R1, whatever that means. And that is the end of the quest. But we still get to check out what happens now. So the end conclusion is... Uh, R1. You nod and allow the red-haired woman to set the walls and floor of your house ablaze. The fire spreads quickly and you run out the front door to avoid being caught in the inferno. From the sidewalk, you watch as everything you own is consumed by flames. Come with me, the woman says. You must be told of the threat that lurks below. Alone, we are surely doomed, but together we can stop it. In your campaign log, record that the house has been burnt to the ground. Okay, whatever. How do I do that? Okie dokie. The lead investigator earns the Lita Chantler card and may include it in his or her deck. This card does not count towards the investigator's deck size. Okay, so she goes over into this guy's deck. Uh, what's it, page three now? The lead investigator suffers one mental trauma from watching his or her home become a smoldering ruin, whatever that means. 
Each investigator earns XP equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Remember to add eligible locations. Each investigator earns two bonus experience as he or she gains insight into the hidden world of the mythos. Okay, so, uh, house burnt. Oh, shit. Damn it. I hate that. Camp log 01. Okie dokie, what else? Victory point display. So I'm going to have to go through. So no victory points, one victory point. So this was not completely explored. So I don't think I get a victory point for that. Victory point, no victory point, no victory point. Now, so that means we've got three victory points. That doesn't seem like much. Basically, I haven't been recording victory points at all. Okay, so the Flesh Eater had a victory point. So I have to go through the, I'll go through my previous videos and see if I ever killed a Flesh Eater. Icy Ghoul, we definitely killed one of them, I'm almost certain. I'll have to go, I'll go through the log before I count these just to make sure that I, I'm not cheating, but yeah, because I wasn't counting victory points at all. And do any of these have victory points? Nope, 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 and none of these do. All right, so at the moment we have three victory points definitely with the possibility of one, and I don't think we beat one of these guys. So we might have three victory points. So I'm just gonna write two down for now. Two, X, two XP, two victory points. Okay, and that is the end of... Okay, so what's all this stuff? Okay, so I just read the rules for that. Basically, he takes a trauma, right? One mental trauma, whatever that means. I'll have to figure out a nice way of doing one of the... Make a... Yeah, so when I... I'll, I'll make a, a cool character, like, log sheet... Well, that's the end of that. So I think I did that all correctly. Now I know that, see, uh, I don't know how to do this. I'll have to go, I'll have to go through the video and find out exactly what's going on here. Cause it says that, uh, experience must be, uh, where does it say? Each investigator earns experience separately. So whoever killed this, cause I'm pretty sure we killed one flesh eater. No, I think we killed the Icy Ghoul. I think we killed one of these monsters when I find out, but I think that one victory point goes to only the investigator that killed it, not to everyone as a group. I'll have to read up the rules on how that all works. But anyway, that is the end of this campaign, the gathering, and uh, I will see you for whatever the next one is, the Midnight Masks. Okay, well that is it. See you guys.